kids, don't look at me. I know I look a mess. Anyway, I'm testing out this new microphone. Hope y'all can hear me. If you can't, it's of no consequence. Y'all that we talking about Potomac. So, <laughs> Potomac had done happen, girl. They wrapped it all up, and it was trash. It was trash. The last, my mouth dropped. The last um, installment, honey, of the girl, get out the street. I'm not stopping. You're going to get run over. You're going to get run over. Look how back at me. Honey, you the pedestrian in the street. Anyway, um. Where was I? Yeah, they, they wrapped it on up, child. They um gave us the last installment of the three-part reunion that really could have been one part. And I'm like, Vaughn. Bon. Vaughn well, said, I ain't talking about this shit. I ain't talking about this shit either. <laughs> Honey, girl, they, what? All they did was holler about Michael and let Michael tell them that he is so disappointed in their behavior. Let me tell y'all something. If Michael is able to vote in this country. I don't know the laws and I don't know whether he is or is not. But if he is able to vote in this country, we already know who he voted for because he acts and talks just like him. He acts and talks just like him. Grabbing boys by the pussy, honey, and then going around telling everybody on the stage, you are incorrect and you didn't see what you saw. Everybody on the stage had a Michael story. Except Michael and except, uh, I was going to call her Wanda. <laughs> Why was I going to call her Wanda? Ashley. Who is Wanda? I was really finna say, except for Michael and except for Wanda. Who the hell is Wanda? Anyway, um, is there a Michael and Wanda uh, a group that I should know? Is it a, was it a show called Michael and Wanda? Starring Wanda Sykes? I don't know, honey. The only Wanda I know they got a man is Cosmo and Wanda from the, uh, I was finna say the Real Housewives of Fairly Odd Fan. What is wrong with me? I'm going through it today. Anyway, Michael and Ashley were the only two up there that didn't have a Michael story. And Michael really did have a Michael story. So Ashley was the only one up there that didn't say, Ashley and Juan. Ashley and Juan was the only two up there that did not say diddly about it. Honey, they didn't say a thing about it. Um, everybody else was like, yeah, we saw Michael grabbing Bussy. Uh-huh, it was, it was the 3rd of September. A day I'll always remember. Yes, I will. Cause that was the day granddaddy grabbed Bussy. I mean, everybody was up there like, yes, on the 3rd of September, on the 21st night of September, uh, Michael grabbed a, a booty. You know, somebody gave a little uh, Kelly Price. It was Valentine's Day, February the 14th. Then I saw Michael grab pussy. Said he had a surprise for me. See, he told me to close my eyes so that I could not see. Then he took me to a special. I don't know. I'd have missed the lyrics, honey, because I'd have got distracted. Uh, he proposed by Kelly Price is one of the only times I let Kelly Caboose live. One of the only times I let Kelly Caboose live. He proposed uh, God's favor is more precious than life. God's favor, he proposed, and a conversation with her. I think that, was it Algebra? Is it Algebra that's on that song with her? What are them other, uh, Sang it helpful was on that song with her talking about how you know they was cheating on each other. It was a very uh Ronald Isley esque <laughs> situation. Anywho, um, but everybody on that stage was very much like, Yes, we saw Michael grabbing Bussy, honey. I saw Michael touch a booty, and all of our producers also have been touched by Michael. It was almost like Della Reese uh, was in the building. If Michael is Della Reese, and everybody was touched by a Michael, honey, when you walk down the road every burden every load I will rise and I will grab pussy sing grab pussy <laughs> what what <laughs> why, why do y'all let me get on this internet honey act a fool anyway everybody been touched by Michael honey anyway uh so they have this back and forth child about whether Michael did or didn't and basically long story short because I'm not gonna go through everything with y'all Michael told Giselle he ain't she ain't never seen that man grab a pussy you ain't never seen me cover cheek you were too far away to have seen me cover cheek I said that's where you are wrong because number one she wasn't that far away and number two Giselle got laser beam eyes Giselle and Robin can probably see everything because their eyes are crystal clear <laughs> crystal clear they can see honey they can probably see through everything. They can see through your clothes, honey, through the walls. Just let the rabbit see. If don't nobody else see, I leave them here for see because they got them crystal clear eyes. Now, personally, my eyes are little muddy waters. I can't see. 
Anyway, let me wrap this up here. My phone better open heat. Long story short, everybody said they saw Michael do what Michael said. You ain't see it, you ain't see it, you ain't see it. Uh, White Chris said, I got a phone call asking, you know, from HR talking about you done grabbed the pussy and what did I see and what do I know? And Michael said, That's you, you, you don't know anything. And, and White Chris said, Well, I know enough. I know, I know I got the phone call. <laughs> like, well, I don't. He was talking real, you know who ish. Y'all, y'all's, uh, <laughs> y'all's country's leader. He was acting like y'all's country leader. I done grabbed the booty. And I'm going to act like y'all don't know what y'all talking about. Everybody crazy but me. Everybody is crazy. I want to get on around this truck. I really do. Truck. I want you to lose. Girl, we are driving 30 on a 55 and I'm about to lose it. Make me lose. I lose my breath. Come on. Beyonce and them. Anyway, um, <laughs> what am I doing? Everybody was saying that they don't. Eh, eh, Monique got on my nerves. Let me talk about Monique. Monique got on my nerves just because she kind of get on my nerves. But she got on my nerves talking about her cousin Hank was so drunk he don't know nothing about the booty. Ain't no camera footage there. Ain't nobody know nothing about the booty grabbing. Now HR is calling round. Bravo's Human Resources Department is calling round. They didn't call Monique and Chris to see what might have happened at their house, and they didn't roll that beautiful bean footage back since we found out that the booty grabber was at her house outside, not in the basement. I don't know. I don't know, Monique. I don't know. I really don't. Anyway, who else said something? Tandis was real quiet. She was real quiet. And I was like, you've been doing all this hollering and cussing and, and running around and doing around about Michael and now you quiet. Speak up. At some point, honey, Juan had to go to the bathroom. I felt some. I was like, Juan ain't coming back. I told my mom, Juan ain't coming back, but he came on back. <laughs> and sat back down and didn't say nothing else. And Juan, sweetie, honey, daughter, are you trying to look like Ray? What are you doing with the beard? What are you doing with the beard? Come on over, honey, and I will give you a facial. We'll get that beard combed out. You know, we'll get it shampooed out real good, honey. Come on over. Come on over. Now, Robin, I don't want you to think I'm propositioning your man. You can come on over, too. <laughs> Bring your wife. Bring Giselle. Honey, y'all can come on over. And we're we going to figure out how to get Juan situated because he look like he having trouble getting situated with this beard. He look like he having trouble. Anyway, um, who else, what else? Karen had a lot to say, but she always has had a lot to say. That's why I was like, girl, why is Candace so quiet? Because the two folks, they had a whole lot to say aside from Giselle, because Giselle said what she said, and that's that on that. Uh, she said, Ashley, you asked me if I thought he did it, and I said, uh, yeah. <laughs> I said, she did. She sure did. Karen said the same thing she been saying. She don't believe it, and as a survivor, you know, she, she, takes a very serious stance as far as sexual assault and rape and you know this that and and the third and we always sit here like yeah karen we heard you we understand we with you uh at some point ray, ray done spoke up this is the most i ever heard ray talk he said because uh michael was like none of you called me none of y'all called me to see was i okay and it's like well you didn't get your booty grabbed what was gonna call us hey michael is your hand okay from grabbing that booty is it all right how's it holding up that hand how you doing? Hey, Ray was like, I didn't call you. And I tell you why I didn't call you, because I thought you did. <laughs> I said, Ray. <laughs> Ray got a little, he got a little handsy. He got a little ballsy. Not handsy, honey. Michael's handsy. Ray was ballsy. He said, I thought you did it. Karen was like, that's right, baby. That's right, Ray. I was like, Karen. <laughs> Karen, you you working my nerves. Anyway, um, Ray said, honey, I thought you did it. So I ain't calling you because it was like, girl, you always out here grabbing booties. What I'm calling for? I don't have to call. Hey, I'm okay, Ray, because I saw you grabbing booty. Hey, I don't have to call. Where's Usher? What's he doing? Is he itching? Honey, me think about it. Made my head itch. Honey, mm, green. Green oozing out of Usher's penis. I never. I never. Anyway, what else had happened? They started talking about each other's roses and thorns of the season and, um, I don't remember if they asked Giselle. I really don't. I do. They asked Giselle. I don't remember what her rose was. I don't know if she had a rose, but her thorn was Ashley. <laughs> she said, my thorn was Ashley. I said, dang. The whole Ashley? I would have been like, my thorn was the situation with Ashley. She said, no, my thorn was Ashley. Karen's thorn was Ashley, too. Her, her rose was launching the, um, launching La Dame, the perfume, and, um, in memory of her mother. And, and, and we're grateful. Um... Robin's rose was flipping a house. We were so happy for her. I really thought her rose would have been uh, her relationship with Juan furthering and getting better, but 
she flipped the house what happened for her. I don't remember what her thorn was. I don't care. Uh, her thorn should have been that dress and that hair. It should have been. And that nail polish. That bright yellow nail polish. No. No, ma'am. No. Now, I know you and Robin went to get y'all's nails done together. I know that. I saw that. You had the bright yellow. She had the bright pink. Y'all went in and said, let's get many panties, honey, and get our nails together so we can be cute for the reunion. But what you failed to realize is that your dress and your hair weren't going to be cute for the reunion, and that yellow did not go with, with, the, with, the yellow was just too dressed down for what you was trying to go for with the dress and the hair. Now, the dress and the hair didn't come together. It didn't come together to make a cute outfit. It really did. Your outfit was ugly. Your A-T-F-I-T -T was ugly. But that nail really took it to a higher level of uglicity. Higher. As far as Giselle's nails, they also looked kind of dressed down, but they still kind of worked with her outfit. I'm still not really here for that um, Vanessa L. Williams hairstyle she had done slick back there. Like, girl, you are not Vanessa Louise. I don't think the L stands for Louise. I think it's Lynn. But you're not, you're not Vanessa Louise Williams. I feel like Louise rolls off the tongue better. Giselle knows better. <laughs> I'ma shut up. You are going to shut up today, Kayla. Shut. Don't do that. Don't do that. You're gonna get sued one day for libel. Sorry. <laughs> I be having to get with myself, honey. We be having to get here with each other because we be on different pages. Me and me and myself. Um. <laughs> ooh, I was gonna be so messy. Ooh. Ooh, I need to go take a nap, honey. I didn't sleep well. I did not. And I got to get these groceries in the house. Girl, my baby spinach out here welting in this heat. I can't be out here talking to y'all. Anyway, um, yeah, the dress, Giselle's pantsuit was also ugly, but it, it worked a little bit. They all just looked like they was getting married in and, and, and a terrible way. <laughs> they all looked like they had went to Davis Bridal and got the six for, six for, uh, six for a hundred dollars special. And I just, I didn't care for it personally. I didn't. Um, but anyway, who else roses and thorns candace I, I wasn't listening to her i have to be honest but i think she said her thorn was the dissolution of the relationship between her and monique and monique had done started crying girl she had done started crying saying that was her thorn too her rose was her rainbow baby and her thorn was the dissolution of the relationship between the other brown skin girl on the show and i said well sometimes your relationships just dissolute honey they didn't say dissolution honey i'm just being smart today using big words no ti anywho um I think that's it. I really do. Because I don't care to talk no more about Michael. They cleared up some timelines and some stuff. But I still am unclear. And I watched it Sunday and it's Wednesday. And I didn't. I don't think I took a note. I don't think I took a single note. So this just off the top of my dome. If you want a better review, honey. Um, Miss Honey got a review. For His Rocks got a review. Beautiful Soul got a review. Uh, Twisted Life TV has a review. There are plenty. Plenty of reviews out there that will give you the depth that you need. As for me and my house, honey, I I don't have it. So that's the review. Like, comment, subscribe, all the things that YouTube is saying. I'll catch y'all in the next one. Peace.